God must bless you. Amen. 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 God must bless you. Amen. Amen. God must bless you. Amen. 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 As the woman, bless you. Amen. Amen. You know why all the time I come here and talk first? Because I must ask God, what, can I, what should I do? Yeah. Amen. You know, you don't understand why pastors talk first. Not because I want to talk. Oh. Mm. One day, one of the prophets said, I'm a tool that God must use. Amen. Amen. You know, some people here, I can say to you, God wants to do this. One day you see me coming back to you again. God wants to do this. But I ask myself, but why are you is repeating? Because I'm a fool. Sometimes God says, go tell, tell her again. I must come again. So if I don't come, I'm disobeying her. God says, go and tell her. Tell her, I must tell her. Something like this will happen. I'll come back. The following Sunday, God said, Tell, 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 tell him, I come again. God said, I must tell you. Ask this man. So, at the time you're looking for money, yes, you remember? Yes. Huh? How many times I said to you, Money is coming? Money is coming. You know why we do that sometimes? Because well, you don't need it. So that even the day it happens, judgment must also come to you. Mm-hmm. You know why judgment will come to you? That if you start to disobey God with that pain, yeah. God will judge you. Mm-hmm. One of the reasons why we repeat one thing sometimes was judgment must come. Mm-hmm. If now God makes you a multimillionaire mm-hmm. like, like him, you will receive the money and from there you will fail to come to church again. Mm-hmm. You know what will happen? You sit down like this one day you're watching TV. You hear my voice. <laughs> You will hear my voice. My voice will be saying, God said I must tell you that money will come. Mm-hmm. That voice will come back. Mm-hmm. You see that? Yeah. From there, if you leave God, mm-hmm. judgment is over. Yeah. <laughs> God is not stupid. Mm-hmm. Can I give you an example before I pray for you? Amen. Why God made Israelites to turn one place seven times? Mm-hmm. Why? Mm-hmm. If it was us today of degrees, we we'll say, but God, why? <laughs> <laughs> if it just turn once, and this world's fall. Mm-hmm. When, I, when I'm talking to you, God is very strange. Mm-hmm. Very strange. He can make you to do, he can t- tell you, turn around this lady like this. <laughs> Don't even ask you why. <laughs> but I say now some food. You see that? You know what I'm going to start with? Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. Last week, what did I say to you? I said, oh, Whose car is this? <laughs> when we came out of here, I had I asked this man, I said, Whose car is doing that? He said, I'm sure it's Tawa. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, prophets, money is car. Money is car. Money is car. You say, What will this money come? How many times I said you will be promoted? 105 times. But in, in the space of that, she received demotion. She was demoted. Can you see that? But after she was demoted, so that she must be discarded. So that she must be discarded. From there, from nowhere. Now she received promotion. <laughs> Yesterday I was doing one on one. Can I tell you? I met these white people in, in, in Dallas, Texas. Those people uh, yesterday were telling me, I have never seen a prophet. You were the first person to prophesy. 
I met that couple. I said to them, I'm seeing a house that you are selling uh, 2.3 million. The lady said, oh my God. She said, the house is on sale now. I'm sure what we're doing that. She said, the house is on sale. And it's Yes, sir. From there, you know what they told me yesterday? They said, Prophet, after you said that, we had so many problems. So many times that we even said, will this prophecy come to pass? But yesterday, she said to me, now we have signed the papers. Amen. Amen. Whether you like it or not, just so I shall. Amen. Amen. One day I told this mama, I said, I'm seeing your land, I'm seeing you selling a land. I'm seeing a property, you are selling it. I see you moving to another place. That's what I told her. She said, for long, no one wanted to buy. Listen, you are for long. But from there, things just happen. Yeah. That day. Huh? That day. That day. Tell me what she said. <laughs> oh, My brother, you are healed. You are healed now. Come. How are you feeling? I'm coughing. I'm coughing. I'm coughing too much. Where is your wife? I don't have an appetite. I don't have an appetite. I don't have an appetite. I'm struggling. I give me a cut. Can you hear that? No. Now, what is the reason? This man. Before he got married, he was not sick. Last week when I was praying for people, I said, oh, brother, we're in hospital. I'm sure some of you have. Mm -hmm. He said, yes, I'm coming from hospital. The question is, that what is the reason why? After marriage, this trouble. Mm -hmm. Life is a war winner. Mm -hmm. Uh, that if you don't see well, you'll be in trouble. Why now, after your marriage, <clears throat> and as a child, you have to go through this? Why now? There has to be someone behind this. Yeah. Yeah. Someone who does not want you to be married. Yeah. You hear that? Sometimes we say to you, this is the person who do this. No sleep now. But I just have more. Two at all. It was even me the other time I was not mature enough. After I discovered the person who killed my mother. And me, I used to be very cruel. And I used to be very cruel. Can we hear it loud? Or you know what I said? Plan B. <laughs> Plan B, and I'm not telling my own. Plan B. I can drive there in the night. Can you see Satan talking? I said, I can, that was one time ago. I said, I can drive there in the night. I wear something here. But I will need someone to borrow me a car. <laughs> I mean, even we don't know me very well. Mm. I said, I'll need someone to borrow me a gun. That is not on the law. Mm. I can go there. I will make sure that I shoot those people with the whole, whole magazine. Mm. It's me playing. But God said, that's not how we fight. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Leave these things to me. I'll fight for you. Mm. So today I want to pray for you. Mm. Can I pray for you? Amen. Can yeah. I pray for you? Yeah. You believe God for you? Yes, sir. Give me my water. One I will bring. 
But the day you put the ring in, fighting them. A lady that was very sweet, she has got anger like a mountain. You know? Within two days, it all point I'm not. 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 And many of us, after that, you know what we do? We, we feel like, no, this is disrespect. No, there's a demon. Mm. There's a demon cooking something. Mm. You know, from this, you know, I'm talking to your power again. Even if you see a certain character in your partner, first thing that you must check, check if it is not a spiritual, first. Check, check it. Because if it's a spirit and you agree and say, no, I'm divorcing this person, Oh, the devil is sitting. Who are you for? What are you going to do? 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 Jesus! my tenant. Marriage, child, boom, you are sick now. Boy, mm -mm. it will never be normal. Never. When we were growing up, when we didn't know God, we thought everything was normal. There's nothing normal. Amen. I was telling people today in the morning, I said, the body that God gave you, it has been given an ability to heal itself. Amen. 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 Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, this man is feeling pain. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Before my mother died, she was doing this. Mm -hmm. And see if the spirit was to come out. Mm? 
Peter was telling people of London that if God can open your eyes uh, just for a minute and see what is happening where you sleep, <laughs> a minute of you, you won't sleep there again. <laughs> you will come and sleep here in the church. I'm telling you, you will say, no, nah, I don't want to be here. Let me be in the house of God. You know why prophets always they want God? I'm telling you, what makes prophets to say, I want God, I want God? They, they pray too much. In God is not because they've got a praying spirit. Come here, brother. I want to finish. I don't want to take time on Come here. Something God must give you another one. Amen. One day I said, if the devil 
makes ah. uh, to lose one car. God must give me two. <laughs> Always it must be like that. Anything that the devil thinks you don't deserve, God must give you double. Amen. Jesus. Anything they think you don't deserve, I say receive double of that. Amen. <laughs> When I get home, my uncle said, I had you bought a tree. The car that looks like a tree. In my hand, I said, God, give me ten of them. Amen. Amen. So that when I go home, they will be like this. Amen. This time, it will be a real tree. Amen. 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 Listen, I never told him. And I'm meeting him in a funeral. I'm asking him, I said, who told him? Can you see that? Mm. Whatever that the devil hates that you must never receive. The hate for you to have it. I say today it must come down. Amen. It must come down in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Oh. So someone buys a car and the devil doesn't want you to Mercedes Benz must come. Amen. Amen. Mercedes. Amen. <laughs> Coming. We said this is coming, brother. Hey. 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 More connection in business. Thank you. I just finished. Now I'm waiting on you, brother. Receive it. Receive it now. I'm sure. There are people that will start to see the way I'm seeing. Yes! 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 The way I see the name of Jesus. Amen. <laughs> Let those eyes be open now. 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 Amen. Now. Amen. Now. Amen. Now. Amen. Now. Amen. Now. There's nothing special about being a prophet. You just need the grace of God. Amen. Some of you, I see you partaking on it. Amen. Take on it. Take on it. Take on it. I say, partake on it. Amen. Amen.
teaching people about God who is God of outside of time. Amen. This morning, I said to people, God, many of us will say God is in heaven, but the, the book of First Kings, it says heaven cannot contain you. Amen. Number two, it says even the heavens of heaven can contain you, Amen. including the earth itself. Oh! <laughs> I, I said to people, the Bible says in the book of Genesis, in the beginning, God was there before the beginning. Yeah. So now the question is that where is he sitting? Yeah. Because this heaven was created by him. Earth, him. So where is he? So now I was teaching people today about God who's God of outside of everything. Yeah. Imagine being outside of everything. And the question is that if you are outside of everything, how big are you? Huh? Oh, you people will take God very light. I was reasoning this thing when I was teaching the people of UK. I said, the word of God in the book of Genesis, Genesis 1 verse 1, it said, in the beginning, God, there was what? God. And he was what? With God. And this what? Spirit of God. And where was he? Hovering where? He is God before time. Amen. He, he was God before the beginning. Amen. Now the question is that where was he? <laughs> because his book, Kings there, it speaks about, I think it's on 8, verse 8. It speaks about the great, the big, the, 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 the greatness of God. 
<laughs> it says heaven itself, and yeah, they cannot contain. Yes. Even it says even the higher <laughs> heavens can contain him. <laughs> so the question is that where is God? And I want to close now and feel and how big is he? <laughs> You think God can create a mountain and be smaller than it? No. <laughs> because sometimes I look at the mountain and say, this mountain is big. You know why we say mountain is big? Because you, are, you use your size as a human. But what about the one who created these things? Because the word of God says, his feet are on earth. Feet! We don't know which part of it. Maybe it's toes. <laughs> I'm telling you. Maybe it's the toes that are just here, hanging here. Do you question it? Do you, do you, do you ever question how big God is? Huh? I don't think so. I want to let you to go home, but I don't think you know how big God is. I'm telling you, many of us will just say, He's a great God. Yes. We don't know even the meaning of great God. Yes. You know, God is so great for enemies to stand against us. Yes. I'm telling you. You know, when I remember about the old prophets, you know, remember when children were laughing at Elisha? Yes. They said, oh, look at this man with the body. He said, hey, let bears come and eat this child. Mm-hmm. Bears came. Ah! <laughs> Because he knew the kind of a God he said. Yes. But we people of nowadays, we don't know this, how big this God is. And we don't know how great it is. We just feel like it's a God that can fit in your, in your sitting room. And I fell like I'm going to sleep. Are you okay? Okay. 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 Check the children. Check the kids.